The Project Healing Waters mission is pretty simple. It's all about the physical and emotional recovery of our wounded soldiers and veterans through fly fishing, fly tying, and fly fishing outings across the country. The first year we just had soldiers come down. We had six soldiers come down for the weekend to fish. Uh, and uh, to include a mother and daughter, Walter Walter Reed, that day. And, uh, and then uh, that day, Avon Forseth, who's one, one of the stalwarts of Healing Waters, came down and Avon said, I want you to have a fly fishing tournament here. And you've got to raise money for Healing Waters. So that's how it all started. So this is our fourth annual Mossy Creek Invitation. My title is a, a tournament director, but my role really is to funnel the energies of just a tremendous team of volunteers uh, that we draw out of uh, just a wonderful community here in Bridgewater, Virginia. Um, most of the anglers here, uh, certainly our warrior anglers, uh, other than Mike Mashey, I think are new to our event. So our, our format is a little bit different. And uh, I know I distributed through the Healing Water staff the rules and format of our tournament, and I'm sure that you all studied it very, very closely. But just in case, we're gonna go over a couple of things. Uh, I went good this morning. Um, well, off the bat, we off the bat first cast. I caught one and been about 15 inches. I threw it back, no big deal. Uh, then I uh, had that one marked, obviously. And I fished the rest of the day. Threw back a bunch of other fish. Probably caught seven or eight more. The, the best way to, to, to run a tournament is to is to let people locally know what it's about and see whether or not they're gonna they're gonna support it one way or the other. And year on year, Don Bell, who's a, kind of a local hero in terms of putting it all together, he does everything from the tent to the food and all the drinks and all the volunteers. Uh, Don Bell does that for us every year. I mean, we don't have to worry about that. And uh, his waiting list for volunteers is longer than his arm. Uh, he uh, has people arguing over who gets to donate the lunch. We have a great Mennonite community down here in this valley uh, who every year have come through for lunch. Um, and uh, it just, it's just, a, a, you know, this is the Harrisonburg, Dayton, and Bridgewater community. And you watch the, the mayor, Holly Dinkle, a veteran himself, flying that big banner over Dinkle Avenue when you, when you drive in, Welcome Wounded Warriors, Project Healing Warriors. And uh, he has every one of the big flags flying, no matter when we have the tournament, he has the, the town put up the big flags for the soldiers. This is an amazing community event. I think that's what brings a lot of people from the Washington, D.C. area back, the sponsors, because they say, it, it, you really, it's organized well, uh, thanks to Don and thanks to John Michael. And uh, I think people really enjoy it, enjoy being part of the community. I love having the community engaged. And that's, and, uh, when we come down here on weekends, people stop and see us and they say, hey, you're doing it again next year, right? It's pretty special. You know, two things come to mind when I think about how the community supports this. The first thing was when we were, as we were driving in this morning, big banners across the, the main street in town, you know, Welcome Warriors, you know, Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing, which is fantastic. Um, and then just talking to people and, and hearing how everybody came together to put this thing on, basically so that, so that guys like me can fish. I mean, that's kind of warms my heart. So it's my great pleasure to present uh, to our 2011 champions, our first place trophy. Uh, could I ask Bill Hansen and Walter Morris to step forward and accept it? We did 84 the first year, uh, then we broke the century mark, we did 107. Last year we did 126. And uh, Ed, I'm, I'm proud to say on behalf of all the sponsors, all of you who contributed to the raffle style auctions, by the way, the Helios Rod Real brought in about $17.50, as did the raffle tickets, about the same. That's fantastic. That's the highest raffle ticket we've ever done. So on behalf of all of us this year, we'd like to present $145,000 in contract. <laughs> As uh, Wesley said, talk about being humbled. Uh, 
Uh, this event, uh, it just gets better and better every year. And uh, before I start babbling and running on, I got to stop for a minute and thank a couple that is really responsible for all of that, are the Fitches, Bob and Robin. 